Hereditary spastic par paraplegia was first described in 1883 by Adolf Strumpel, a n German neurologist, and was later described more extensively in 1888 by Maurice Lorraine, a French physician. My disorder, it goes by a couple of different names. Um, well, basically, there's one term that differs. It's either familial or hereditary spastic paraplegia. In the rare genetic disorder hereditary spastic paraplegia, the nerves involved in voluntary movement degenerate. These upper motor nerves begin in the motor cortex of the brain and extend down the spinal cord. Their job is to carry signals from the brain to the lower motor neurons, which begin in the spinal cord. The lower motor neurons relay messages out to the muscles telling them to contract or relax. Because the upper motor neurons are degenerating, they do not give the correct signals to the lower motor neurons. Thus, the muscles do not receive the correct messages. This causes spasticity and weakness of the affected muscles. As the nerves continue to degenerate, the spasticity and weakness in the muscles increase. In most forms of HSP, the condition primarily affects the lower body. However, rare forms of the disease can also have upper body or additional neurological symptoms. And then when I finally received an actual real diagnosis of it, it was from Duke University. They have a program that studies that disorder. So, you know, although I am a true blue tar, you'll go Duke for actually studying my disorder. But hereditary or familial spastic paraplegia, pretty rare. A National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke supports research on genetic disorders such as HSP. Genes that are responsible for several forms of HSP have already been identified, and many more will likely be identified in the future. Understanding how these genes cause HSP will lead to ways to prevent, treat, and cure HSP. Okay, as far as how it affects my daily life, yeah, it affects my daily life. I mean, I. I woke up, I mean, I was born with this disorder. I've had it my whole life, and but from the time I could start walking, it was obvious that I was going to have a disorder. Uh, I was this weird little kid who walked different. I've grown up and dealt with it in different ways, and like I got into like going to see a lot of live music and stuff, and being in the midst of this giant crowd, and here I'd have a cane and be dancing my ass off. And since my father has a disability too, um, the HSP gene is located on one of the autosomal chromosomes. The gene can be present in either sex and it can be passed down from either the mother or the father to a son or a daughter. Hi, I'm a spokeswoman for Spastic Paraplegia Foundation, SPF. SPF is dedicated to finding the cures for HSP and PLS and providing informational and support services. One way you can help this foundation and the people affected by these disorders is by donating to us at www.spfoundation.org. The future, if you look at the medical textbooks, say that I'm going to degenerate and I'll probably be incontinent or something really ugly and gross, and I don't look forward to that. Right now, I guess my whole thing is to live life to the fullest.